Okay, maggots. Welcome to part 15. It's been a while. Exams and such. So, that's that. But let's go. Uh, I promised you to make the menu now, even though we're not completely done with the game itself. But let's try to make a menu for you guys that already have made a fancy game. To make a menu, at least the way I do it, you have to use the states uh, system that I... That, um, that we made in the previous tutorials. Uh, you don't have to, of course, but this is one way that I like to do it. Um, so, first of all, first of all, make a new folder here called Menu. Menu. <laughs> Go into Example and copy the main.lua since it has already, since we've already written all the functions we need in there. So we'll just copy paste it and edit what we need to edit, right? So uh, what do we really need here? What can we use? We just remove all of it. No, we need a background color. Xcloud. Maybe one of these so we can just edit them for our needs. We don't need any entities in the menu if you're not going to be too fancy. We need the mouse positions, that's for sure. Uh, maybe one of these... Um, these draw functions, since our buttons are gonna be images, which I've already made. The rest is silly. The update, we need nothing from the updates, so we're just gonna clear that out. We might need a mouse button. Check if the mouse button is pressed, so we'll keep that there. And inside box, at l very much so, because uh, we'll have to check if something is inside the, the outline of the buttons. So there we go. Control S. Always remember to save all the time. All the time. Okay, I'm gonna put that down here. And here's the buttons we're gonna use. Play, exit. And there's different ones. There's two of each sort. Of each type of button. See? One of them is black. Has a black outline. That's when you're not hovering over it with your mouse. And one has this orange outline. Same with the play buttons, because we're just gonna start out with exit and play. Maybe some options later, but for now, play and exit. Very easy, simple. So put those inside the textures folder in your root directory. Here we go. Just drop them in there. Exit, exit on, play on, and play. PNG. Okay. Let's continue with the, the main.lua, should we? Uh, I don't want to be the background to be completely white because that won't fit the theme that we're doing. Might even want to make some animations in the background eventually. But for now, it is. Now we need to load all the images, all the pictures for the buttons. So image play is going to be the play.png. And so on. Let's make four of these. And play uh, on be uh, play underscore on because that's what I named the the on version of the of the button image image exit exit and image exit on exit underscore on okay I've uh, I, I believe I've told you about this function before so we'll just continue <laughs> another thing course we are going to make a fancy system we're gonna use tables to add new buttons at least the information for the buttons so we're gonna we're gonna make a new table here if you don't understand tables don't worry one day you will one lovely day let's call it buttons and tab this out so we can align it with the rest it looks so nice and dandy and all the programmers that will look at your code later will enjoy themselves finding problems or editing it for their needs so make everything aligned and nice looking we're, we're gonna the first part of our table is going to be the image on the on image for the button which will be image play for the play button of course and image off remember always commas between the the new uh, the rows and I, I told you about this before, god damn it. 
And the image off is gonna be image play. Uh, yeah. I just noticed something funny. Well, okay. Uh, I always have a cheating note here, just to <laughs> give me a general idea of how to do this that I've thought on beforehand. So I noticed I've, I've used off for on and on for off in a way, but uh, we don't care, we'll edit that. The X position for the button is gonna be in the middle of the screen and a little bit above the middle. So we do minus 64, remember the X position, the Y position starts at the top and increases when we go down on the screen. So minus 64, that's a little over the middle of the screen. Okay, and uh, yeah, so the X and the Y position. We also need the width and the height. We could make a fancy code to detect the width and the height of the images, but we're gonna make this goddamn simple. Just make the write the width itself inside our custom table. And at the very last, I want to have a little string telling me what kind of button this is, what action to do. So just to yeah, just for clarification. Don't add a comma at the at the end. You can, but you don't need to. Just for tidiness and awesome. Schnissel. <laughs> like saying schnissel, don't I? Now we just copy this whole thing because uh, the information is basically done there. Just change it with what we prefer. We wanted to have the X and exit pictures instead of the on picture pictures. The plus here, because now it will be a little under the middle, aligned with the, with the play button. Width and the height is the same, and we want to exit here. I'll show you later how, how I'm thinking when I'm writing this. Now we're gonna do something even more fancy. We're gonna make a local function. Draw button. A local function will only be visible to this file. No other function outside this file, for example, in uh, in the entities file, in the, in the example game directory, it won't be able to see this function. If you try to call it, inside any of the functions in that area, in the example game, or outside this file, it won't work. So it's a local function. It's local. It's a local chap. Off, on, x, y, with, height, mouse, x, and mice, well, y. Since we need off, off picture, on picture, x position of the button, width and height of the button, and the mouse position is to be able to know if the mouse is over the button or not. And the end. Always remember the ends. Yes. <laughs> Local inside. I'm just gonna call it ins inside box. Do you remember that function that we made? And we saved it down here. Uh, okay. Mouse X, mouse Y. Since we need the point X, point Y. I've, I've told you about this before, I think. So we'll just follow me. The X position minus the width divided by 2. <laughs> the Y position minus the height divided by 2. If you can imagine this in this in your head, you're very good. You're on your way to becoming an awesome guy. We're just basically... Um, okay, let's open the, one of the buttons. Uh, if we want the game to be... The button to be in the middle of the, of the screen, the... the the draw functions for pictures will start drawing it from the top left corner. So the top left corner corner will be in the middle of the screen if you put the positions 400, 300. Therefore, we need to minus half of it so we get the, uh, the position in the middle of the picture in the center. I hope you understand. One day you will, if you don't. Um. Where were I? Yes, I were here. <laughs> uh, the width and the height of the picture. That's how the ins inside the uh, box function works. The next thing is to put the color of the button in. In case we had some other... No. Uh, love. 
graphics set color should be white I've told you about this before to keep the original colors in the picture if inside then if we're inside if not do that so if we're inside love uh, graphics uh, draw I believe and uh, the on picture which we'll get from up here uh, yes the on only the on because if we're if the mouse is inside the box the hit box of the button uh, we draw the on picture <laughs> now we gotta think because uh, since I made the on picture the opposite yeah I'm gonna fix that soon just stay with me stay on the point we divided by two and height divided by two See now, we made a offset by half of the width of the image and half of the height of the image. Therefore, the center of the image will be in the center of the screen. Uh, will it? Yes, it will. I shouldn't improvise these videos too much. I have a little cheat note as I said, but it's not enough, is it? From times to times. Okay, there we go. That's the draw function. Function. <laughs> We have the draw. Uh, is there anything different here? Is there anything? Yes, it is. Now we're gonna make a for loop. There we go. We had a little cut there, but we don't care. Uh, yeah, the for loop. 4k. That's the ID of the of the current element in the table, and the V, which is the element itself, in pairs. Buttons. Do. So do something with a table with K and V as indicators. Draw button. And now, okay. Since we made the off first in the draw function. <laughs> I'm just gonna change this. Now it's fixed. Now on is for on and off is for off. There we go. So uh, the first argument in the draw function is going to be off. So image off. And then the next one. Notice that I, you get the information from the element in the table by doing first the element itself dot the value that we want. So it's kind of like an address in on the interwebs. Blah 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 dot something dot com. <laughs> okay, so v dot image on. It's gonna be the on picture. Uh, with the x position, we y position, we double v, v h. Uh, the normal X because that's the mouse positions that we've put here and the Y and I think that's it so now it will autom automatically draw the, the buttons that we have set inside this table in that fancy I think it's pretty fancy love using for loops even though they might be a little advanced but it's good it's good okay now let's make the detect I want to test it first though. Do you think it will work? We'll just try. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Uh, in the main.lua, at the very root of, the, of your game, to open it, and it should not start with the example state, it should start with the menu state that we made. Yeah, now it will start with the menu. Here we go. So, if we put the mouse over, I hope it will change the picture. Yes, it did. And it works perfectly. Look. Down here, it doesn't work. Clicking, clicking doesn't work yet. Well, that's irritating. So let's add that function. So in the mouse pressed, if the button is left mouse L. Uh, remember, you can always get these values from the from the wiki on love2d.org. So yeah, they're they're uh, listed there under the love mouse pressed page. So if you want, for example, for example, right click, it's R there, and I think it is. Just go and check. 
for uh, k v in oops not comma there in pairs buttons do so let's go through the table again each time we press the li left mouse button and check if it's inside any of the buttons so local uh, ins i think we're just gonna copy will that work yeah no uh, god damn i think it'll work yeah it will it will let's just use that again skip some of there we go some of the coding that's okay else if and so if ins no 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 else if there silly me so if it's inside do something if not we don't care that's why we don't use an else there if the action equals equals play remember that's where we put here what we put there i could have put a function inside the table here and just made it load down here but we're gonna do this simple i, I guess this is simple if not tell me <laughs> So if the action is play, then do that, and if it's exit, do something else. If not, we don't care, so don't put an else at the end. Load state, because when we play, when we want to play, we want to load the example state, don't we? Where the example, uh, example game is located. Example. If not, we use a function which you can find on the wiki for quitting the game. You should always use this. Love event dot quit function. No arguments. No, <laughs> quite. Ah, <laughs> oh, lols. But uh, I believe we are quite done indeed. Yes, we are. So let's uh, let's try it out. Exit. <gasps> Main fifty one. Fifty one. Oh, of course, silly me. God damn. I don't have these functions. Why didn't you tell me? The X position should be VX, and the width should be. These are the mouse positions, remember? And we get them from there in the mouse function. This is the X position of the, <laughs> the button itself and the width divided by 2, the Y position, the height divided by 2, the width of the button and the height of the button. Now it should work. God damn, that was so stupid. That was so goddamn stupid. Play, exit, it works. Play, play. Yeah, it works. <laughs> success, great success. I always like to spam them so they fall at the same time. It's an OCD, is that the name of it? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah, but, uh, okay. Next time, we'll add some more cool stuff. It won't be as long time till the next tutorial as it has been to this. So, uh, yeah, I have... Uh, I still work. So, <laughs> it won't be very frequent, but I will get them out there. So we can finish this awesome game. So, see you guys. Auf Wiedersehen.